a new piece by Jonathan Chait for New York Magazine this weekend entitled Normal. Republican Ron DeSantis wants to lock up Anthony Fauci, questions whether the Florida governor really is the saner replacement for Donald Trump on the 2024 Republican presidential ticket. Chait notes the following, quote, there is a large wing of the conservative elite that thinks of the Republican Party as the parents of a wayward teen might think about their child, a good kid who was doing OK until he was led astray by falling in with the wrong crowd. The obvious flaw in their analysis is that the party is not OK. DeSantis turns out to be a case study in the institutionalized nature of its insanity. He has been obsessively promoting anti-vaccine kookery, including appointing an anti-vaxxer as his state's top health official. And now he's sending out a fundraising email calling for Dr. Anthony Fauci to be jailed. Hi, Karumba. Let's bring in right now State Attorney for Palm Beach County, Dave Ehrenberg, also senior national political reporter for NBC News, Mark Caputo. Mark, welcome aboard. It's so exciting <laughs> to have you here with Yay. us. Let's talk. Uh, why don't we talk a little bit about <clears throat> this Chait story? Uh, because uh, we've talked about Ron DeSantis before. Very intelligent guy, <laughs> very calculating. Uh, but as Jonathan Chait says, sometimes takes positions that, well, I think uh, many Americans would consider crazy. Uh, what's, what's your take on on Chait's uh, view of the gel Fauci letter and Ron DeSantis generally moving toward 2024? Well, I'll probably have to pass on the opinion bit, but I can say that if you don't like what DeSantis did saying uh, Fauci for prison, get ready for more of what you don't like. You know, in the past month, Ron DeSantis <laughs> raised $6 million for his reelection. Uh, his opponents, Charlie Crist and Nikki Fried combined, raised a million dollars. Uh, he is lapping them. And part of the reason he's doing so well is stuff like this. On Friday, Ron DeSantis held a press conference and announced he'd want to spend as much as $8 million to essentially uh, redistribute uh, illegal immigrants or undocumented immigrants who have been flown into Florida, which he says are on clandestine flights. That's disputed. Uh, by the government. Uh, so you can send them to other states, including Delaware, uh, which he noted was Joe Biden's home state. Uh, my now former colleagues at Politico had written an interesting story that uh, Florida's tax collections are so high and the amount of federal money Florida is getting so high is so high that Joe Biden is essentially helping subsidize the Florida budget so that Ron DeSantis can take that money and launch various programs like this to kind of go to war with the federal government. And this is just one of a few. Uh, get ready for more. You know, um, Mark, it's, it seems almost uh, impossible to remember a time when DeSantis surprised expectations, including my own. And in his first year of governing, uh, this guy that ran some of the dumbest 30 second ads I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Uh, actually ran as a uniter, uh, or governed as a uniter the first year. He had a lot of Democrats praising him for his stand on environmental issues. His approval rating was up in the 60s. Uh, and then COVID hit, and he just right. took a sharp turn to quackery, uh, my, my opinion, uh, not yours, of course, and, and just uh, basically uh, sort of Trumpism. What can, can you, uh, have, have you figured out why he made that calculation, when he made that calculation? I don't know if it's so much that he made the calculation as that he kind of uh, went to type or to form. Uh, you know, Ron DeSantis is at base a very reactionary Gingrich era conservative. Uh, he came of age then, you know, he was elected first to Congress in 2012. Uh, by going to these various 9, 12, and Tea Party groups selling a book called Dreams of the Founding Fathers, which is his way of pushing back against Obama. Gives you an idea of President, or better said, Governor DeSantis' uh, sort of mindset and his conservatism. And he had a lot of uh, national media criticism, and some of which was pretty inaccurate. And a lot of people had criticized him for the way he was running the state. And in conservative politics now, if you have the national media and you have kind of the experts attacking you, then you're going to be beloved by the base. And since he got lots of attacks, he got lots of loves and that love. And that hasn't changed uh, at all. In fact, even though a Delta hit and Florida's death rate went from about 27th in the nation to 10th in the nation, 
uh, his popularity among conservatives have increased. If you look at the national polling among Republicans for a prospective 2024 presidential primary without Trump in it, uh, Ron DeSantis right now is the nominal front runner. Now, yeah, it's early, and yeah, he has to win his reelection. But Ron DeSantis is a top-tier national conservative and Republican figure, in part because of the way he managed COVID, or to his critics, the way he mismanaged it. Well, and, and of course, with Florida skyrocketing up to 10th in, in deaths in the nation, it's, uh, I've always been struck by how DeSantis and his supporters brag, Mika, about his record on COVID when it's actually a fairly dreadful record. It's awful. Uh, and the demand to lock up Dr. Fauci rests on the unsubstantiated allegation that he misled Congress about the about National Institutes of Health funding and past testimony. Not a jailable offense, even if true. Jonathan Chait goes on to say, DeSantis' call to jail Fauci is a pure echo of the Trumpian call to lock up Hillary Clinton over her violation of State Department email protocols. The thinnest pretext of a scandal is a sheen to cover the raw authoritarian ambition to imprison any figure who angers the right-wing base. Whether DeSantis is a genuine authoritarian maniac or merely pretending to be one is immaterial. The structure of the party is such that it incentivizes these positions and rhetoric. He may be less unhinged than Trump, but DeSantis points the way toward a future in which the cancer has consumed the Republican Party that has consumed the Republican Party continues to grow. And Dave Ehrenberg, I mean... These slogans to lock her up or lock him up or is there any legal recourse to I mean, is this isn't it defamation to an extent? Well, good morning, Mika. It, it is not. He has engaged in political rhetoric. Now, if there is a specific threat, that would be different. If there was specific incitement, that would be different. But, you know, that, that's a high bar. We learned that from January 6th, the fact that none of the leaders have been prosecuted for their statements. We shouldn't be surprised what we're seeing, after all. This is the same governor who ordered our flags be flown at half staff when Rush Limbaugh mm. died and ordered one, yeah, one million doses of the drug hydroxychloroquine after then-President Trump uh, touted it as a cure for COVID. It was not. Now Florida is stuck with a million doses of a drug that no hospital wants, but that's the kind of thing that plays well in the MAGA base. And Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.